So look, bro, another reaction video. Today is Tuesday, so y'all know y'all might not get it to like Thursday. And we finna get straight into this video. Um, I hope everybody all right. Now, I mean, let me let me let me tell y'all something because I was telling my auntie, well, my uncle, my uncle and my auntie. So I might as well tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, day before yesterday, something like that. It's my mama's sister. Y'all know my mom passed or whatever the case. So, you know, they be calling to check up. But she hit me with the sidewinder. Like, my aunties, my uncles, my family. I don't tell them about my YouTube. Like, some of them know it, some of them don't. And the ones that don't, they be like 60s, 70s. Right? So she like, Darrell. Uh, <laughs> oops. She like, goes. I seen um your YouTube channel. And I was reading the comments. You really got fans. Like... How does that feel? And whoopie whoop whoop. And I kind of like broke down to her. Broke it down to her, then broke down to her. But basically, my bad. Uh, everything I told her, I'm going to tell y'all. Um, I love y'all, bro. Next year, I'll be going on to my seventh year in YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And for six years, I've been on top. I don't see, when it comes to my live streams and the comments, when it comes to the comments on my YouTube videos, I promise y'all, I think I got the best fans on YouTube. I'm keeping them 100. Bro, I walk outside. I could be solo. Y'all show me nothing but love. I be on my Saran bike, pull up to anybody hood by myself. Y'all show me nothing. Let me tell y'all, and I wasn't going to do it till I dropped that, well, I'll show y'all till I dropped the vlog, but I went to Arizona with the Saran fools out there. Well, not with them. I went out there on a the turnaround trip, but we ended up running to these fools up on dirt bikes. Anyway, some of them had some rhymes and Tilarius and all that. So just on some humbug, I ended up rolling with them, bro, for probably like an hour and a half. And everywhere we touched, we was in Scottsdale, Arizona. Everywhere we touched, I got nothing but love. And I don't know if y'all know how I feel to cry on the inside because the homies be around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't want to. But I just... I just love y'all, bro, and thank you. And I'm being very serious. If y'all remember me being homeless when I was doing my, you know what I'm saying? Riding on my hoverboard and all. Thank you, bro. My life changed dramatically. You ugly mother. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, but good looking out, bro. Bruh. I don't say bruh. I was about to say man and bro at the same time. I was like, good looking out, bro. Bruh. Good looking now, squad. Thank you. I'm finna get into this video though. This that uh this that one. In this video, a person appears very upset, as if they're Broken absolutely football. sure that some mysterious force, maybe the FBI, is chasing after them. They're acting quite strangely, and it's hard not to be concerned about their Hey, to you fools that's bald, right? Not the ones that cut your hair like that. I'm talking about when you lose your hair at the top. And I'm not clowning because my grandpa and my dad, we ain't got no history of that, bro. And what if I be the first one? I ain't got no signs, but you can wake up, my dress be all on my pillow. Anyway, do y'all get tired of like, when y'all lose y'all hair at the top, do y'all get tired of cutting it every day or every two days so y'all just let the sides go up and just go outside like that and say, fuck it? I promise you, if I had to reverse fade, Bald at the top, hair on the sides. I want to make sure the side is cut every day, bro. And I know the more you shave it, the more it go back. But God damn, you can't even feel fly all the way. Because it's... Let me tell you like this. A young female will mess with an older dude. That's only if she know he's older by age. You can't really look like it like that. You know what I'm saying? You can't try to go pick up a young female. You still got your hair... On the sides, but none at the top. Even though she know it's gone, you gotta shave it, bro. Be presentable a little bit. I be thinking my time finna be up. I be the best in the world. It's bro. chasing after them. They're acting quite strangely, and it's hard not to be concerned about their mental state. I <laughs> It's a bit like a mystery, but there's danger. Bro, come on, my guy. That's a gate that got the latch on the side that you flick up. Boom. 
If that gate had a lock on it, he wouldn't even be able to pull it open. Therefore, it was no lock on it. Bro was so high, he tried to hop the gate and barge the gate when he could have just lifted it. This is how people get shot. I tell y'all all the time, if you're living in a house with no burner, even though I don't, I hope somebody pray for you. Even though I don't think it's going to work like that. This is the point I'm trying to make, bro. You stupid than a motherfucker if you at home. Because what if he did run in there after he broke up in the, uh, up in the yard? What you going to say? Leave. I'm going to call the cops. So as he call the police. I have someone breaking in my house. What does he look like? I don't know. It's a man with a shirt over his face. Do you know his name? Um, No, I told you I don't know he breaking in my house. Can you smell his cologne? It's going to be a wrap by then. I say it all the time. We know you in the house. Your house is still outside. Make that make sense. It's a bit like a mystery, but there's danger in not knowing what's really going on. Down in sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida, an interesting like scene unfolded. A vigilant gentleman, fed up with porch pirates, caught one in the act attempting to snatch his cherished bike. Hey, you wanna She looked like a thief, and I can tell you she stole a million things before. I say that to say this. When you steal something, bro, you don't have time to examine it like you at the damn car lot. She up here trying to see if it got any scratches, trying to ask the car facts on the bike, bro. If you see it, you want it, take it. That's a two second robbery, I'm not lying. You don't even get on the bike at that point. You run with it like this on the side you, you, until you get, you know what I'm saying? Them look like some stairs. I wonder how our little ass is going to get it down the stairs. And now I'm thinking, how does she see the bike from the ground if you can't see downstairs because the little barrier right there, unless this dumb hoe knows somebody in the apartment buildings, either was coming or going, seeing the bike like, oh, I'm finna rob them. Stupid. Doc? You the f Doc? Stupid <laughs> take it. No, take that <laughs> Take that She should have took it. Bro, it's all cap. All cap and the bait worked. Or the trap didn't work or whatever, bro. The way he talking, he's not there. The way he talking, that's the door cam. He's somewhere else. Oh, you want to die today? You want to die today? Go ahead and take it. Go ahead and take it. With that energy, and that's a woman I'm feeling, bro, would have walked outside if he was at home. She could have took the bike and nothing would have happened. He would have been like, hey, give me my bike back. Give me my bike. I know what you look like. Bro, not even home. She just a smoker. Fell for. I would have been like, bro, I'm taking your bike. I, I'm taking your bike. You not even here. Thank you. Like, I would have been clowning up in that you door cab. Doc? You want to f***ing Stupid f Take it. No, take that shit. I would have been like, all right. Take that you ain't gonna do nothing, bro. You're not home. Come back, I swear to God. I'm not home, but come back. What? Now you want to say she, you, that you're not home now that she gone, though, huh, bro? And even if that's not the case, don't even announce that you're not home. Then she would have got a little bit smart. Because she was dumb as hell. She got a little bit smart and took the bike. I'm not home, but take it. Bro, this is a crackhead. They not putting her on the news. Have y'all seen this woman for taking this man bike? If you take this video down to the police department, they're going to look at the video with you. That's it. They're not going to send out a few squad cars to be on the lookout for this woman. They're not going to print her picture out and have it up in the police car. Every police unit, make sure y'all look out for this woman. No, it's a rapper. She would have took the bike, dumb fool. It's a bike. They're not doing all that. They not, it's a bike. They don't care. I'm not home, but take it. Stupid. Take it. Stupid. There's a daring guy strolling up to someone's house, and without a second thought, he throws a big rock. Damn. It smashes through the windows in a loud glass shat. Bro got put on a click. He was trying to get put on a. I promise you, on my mama, rest in peace. When we was younger, when we was, this is what we had to do. It. That's on everything I love. We had a big ass apartment building, right? And there was a small apartment building next to us. It was a smaller one, but ours was big, probably like 10,000 units. 
One thing you have to do, you have to get on the roofs, hop on the garage roof, from the garage roof. You have to hop on the roof next door, run downstairs, run all the way back by the donut shop, come up in the apartment building. You have to do that in 60 seconds or you can't be from our clique no more. I mean, or you can't get put on our clique. And another one, the last one, well, we had three. You had a slap box fade after that. And the last one, you had to play D, you had to play five second ding dong ditch, all right? Ding dong ditch, bro. You knock on the door, boom, 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 and you run. That's how the scary ones do it. Five seconds, ding dong ditch. <laughs> you got to turn around. You hit go the door right here, right? You turn around, hit it with your back leg five times. Boom, 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 boom. And you have to stay there for five seconds and then run. It ain't no kicking it and hurry up and running, bro. We, we got to see some toughness a little bit. We 11 and 12, you know what I'm saying? Stay there for five seconds, see somebody answer the door, are you? <laughs> This put on was the weakest put on ever. My guy threw a rock at the door. Either he was getting put on the click or his girl left him and that's her new nigga house. Girl, it gotta be one of the two. crash, causing destruction and chaos in a mindless act of vandalism. Hi, you are currently being recorded. <laughs> it's not like he hit the, uh, it's not like he hit the hop already with the rock. So she says, you are being re <laughs> you are being re Look, look. Hi, you are. <laughs> destruction and chaos in a mindless How act of vandalism. How is destruction and chaos? Hi, you are currently being recorded. <laughs> Bro, hit the operator straight in the mouth. Just shut her ass up real quick. Hi! <laughs> hey! Put your ass over here! What you gonna do, blue sir? He is fly with that blue shirt. I'm not lying. Old man is fly with that blue shirt, bro. That's how I want to dress, but you can't do nothing. Was this a dare? Because I said this had to be his girl house, but they look a little old. He ain't got no beef with them because they're a little old. He can put on a click. Never answer your door when you hear smoke outside your house. And I'm keeping it real. Take this very seriously. Even for you so-called thugs and gangsters out there. If you hear smoke outside your house, got somebody like me outside your house or your garage, come outside. Come outside. I'm throwing rocks at your just Come outside. I wish you. If you don't go outside the house with your gun, Sit in the house and call the police, bro. Don't go out there thinking you heat man and you're going to throw these. And just take one. Pow. If a seven-year-old got it, he can get rid of you. Eleven-year-old got it, he can get rid of you. Thirteen-year-old got it. He can, these don't really work in the real world, bro. Only throw them when you know for sure. Oh, boy, on the same shit you want. Other than that, I'm telling y'all. Look at all the people that got shot yesterday, today, and go get shot tomorrow. Don't let that be you. Please. Get over here! Aww, There's a man snoozing so on the cute. sofa, <laughs> lost in slumber. But here's the chilling part. The door behind him mysteriously swings open, all on its own. What? That's a... <laughs> Who or what could be responsible? It's a real nail-biter. And it's like something straight out of a horror movie. Nah, bro. What do you make of this eerie occurrence? That's my mama. In a spooky house, something unusual was caught on tape. A mysterious guy shows up, and it freaks out the person who lives there. What you mean, who are you? He, bro, don't live here with it. This is what I'm saying. Can't no mental. Oh, he was mentally unstable. He was in your house with the shirt off. You got your girl, your son walking in the back, bro. True story up in California right now. Y'all can look it up. I don't know the name. I don't know where it happened. I just know it was up in California, bro. Somebody broke in this man's house with guns. He had a he had a uh, license permit to have his gun. He shot both them fools in the house, and they took his life. They didn't take him to jail, but they took his permit. What the hell? My kids would have been traumatized. My girl would have been traumatized and all that. I'm not walking out. What are you doing here, bro? Are you lost? Do you need some help? You need to use the phone? That's the scene right there. I just can't play them games when it comes to my family, bro. 
I, I just can't play them games. Not my house. Not my house. Not my, you know. If, if, if my car is parked at Walmart or Best Buy, I come out and I see a fool breaking in my car. Draw down the only back up, bro. You in the wrong little. I, this one thing, I was in that position before. I tell about the bounce. I wasn't popping. I know he trying to come up on the lick. I wouldn't call the police on him. Like, bro, shake. But if you, it's not that it put my house. No questions. I don't want to No, I don't care what you look like. Black, white, Asian, mess. I don't care. You're done for it, my nigga. You done for it, bro. That. And he walking closer. Then a brave dad steps in to save the day. With no heat. Beat him up at least, bro. He can't come to the barbecues no more. <laughs> Let's keep it real. I mean, it ain't like you have to get invited, but put a lot, bro. So as you, we just like, why is you here? Even though you can come, you can't come no more, bro. You ain't acting how you look. That is supposed to be beat up. You got your kids, your daughter. I thought that was your wife. She up there like dad. Yeah, bro. Defend your family, please. Picture this, it's a dark and eerie night, roughly around 2 a.m. The star of our show is a fellow, not quite himself, holding something mysterious in his hand. Even though you in your house, your house is still outside. Some of y'all be getting what I be saying and some of y'all don't. But this is what I'm trying to say. Even though you're in your house, your house is still outside. Anybody can walk in your yard, look in your window, knock on your door, hide in your bushes, whatever, bro. Rob your car, steal your flower. Be careful. Be careful. Let me tell you what my rule is. Even though I don't think it's like, even though it might not be valid for real, this is me. When I hit a block, right, and this is crazy, this is crazy. When we used to rob houses, bro, if we was to hit a block, it'd probably be 30 houses on this side, 30 houses on the other side of the street. You know what we saying? It's probably like two or three of these houses got, that got burners, and we not that unlucky to hit it and get shot. When it should have been like, it's only two or three houses that ain't got no burners. Bro, let's move to the next block. You get what I'm saying? Uh, people don't care about, they, they expect their luck, police, and God to keep them safe every second and every minute of the day, which is crazy to me. <laughs> which is crazy. Let me tell you right now. Tell you right now. Even though God love you, you can still die so. Even though God love you, he can still protect you in the afterlife. Not today though, bro. He you he, he'll holla at you, uh, come up, my son. You know what I'm saying? You see the rays, you the, the stair, the gates of heaven and all. But not down, bro, you better stop praying for a brighter day and get you a pistol. These <laughs> niggas is crazy. What was he doing? Now, that's where the danger creeps in. Nothing good usually happens at 2 a.m., right? In this video, a spooky scene unfolds. A mysterious man, shrouded in shadows, looms at the front door. His words are like an eerie melody, disturbing and unsettling. Hey, G, I know you see me right now. I heard you like to hit women, bro. Ooh. I got news for you, buddy. You hit the wrong girl last night, homie. Kind of looks of it is, bro, ghost gang. What the fuck? 
<laughs> he with the pull-ups. You done hit his sister, his mama, his homegirl, best friend, co whoever bro pulled up. By the looks of this, I sent I sent this. I'm gonna be here every day until you answer the door. I promise you. Yes, sir. I'm not the one you want, you homie. Mm-hmm. With your I'm a real Italian gangster, I'm gonna treat you as such. Bro, y'all don't believe me a lot, but on my mama rest in peace. I was gonna say this fool looked like he like from Italy or Australia or some shit like that. I'm not lying, I was just about to say that. And uh. Is he talking about an Italian gangster out here up in America or the real ones? Well, there's some real ones out here too, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Bro, ghost gang. We everywhere. Even Italy or fake Italy, which is America. Maybe kicking it out here sometimes. Yeah. In this video, a man stands outside someone's house, not knowing where he is, and his actions are not safe. He's like a lost explorer, but without a map or permission. The homeowners are like guardians of their castle, using a doorbell intercom to speak and hopefully scare the man away. This fool outside with a damn sheet. You better leave. I'm calling the police. <laughs> to you women out there, to real criminals, to real criminals, to you women out there. Never scream you calling the police. That let us know it ain't no man in the house. Never scream you calling the police. That let us know we got five to ten minutes to do whatever we want to do to you. Never. All right? If you ain't got no weapon, if you ain't got none of that shit, threaten him with the most gruesome. Bro, you got five seconds to get on my step or I will murder you. Four. Three. You get what I'm saying? And when you get to one, one and a half, you ain't got no good. <laughs> one and three quarters. <laughs> one and one fourth. <laughs> gotta stall a little bit. One and one tenth, you gotta get away. I'm almost at one second. <laughs> you better stall a little bit. 0 0.5 that nigga or something, bro. You get him, don't tell him I'm calling the police because that's gonna let him know. We got the green light. She ain't got no burner. No man in the house and the police can't teleport. It's gonna take them some time. I got action. Get out of here! Yeah, you sound scary. Stop it. Don't do that. Linda, call the police! And they in the house. And they in the house. If she was somewhere else, she would have called them herself. Get out of here. Now she said that pausingly. That was aggressive, bro. And then she said, Lindsay, call the police. She looking, screaming for, yeah, she was at home. Beautiful house, going to work, got Lindsay in the house with no gun. But ghost, it's not legal. Or die. Y'all yeah. gonna tell the government, well, go ahead then. It's crazy to me. And I'm gonna reiterate that open every the door, time. Linda. Call the police. <laughs> Don't open the door. This video tells a story of how technology keeps us safe, even when the unexpected happens at our doorstep. In sunny Miami, Florida, there's a hilarious yet risky incident caught on a ring camera. Most a it. guy finds himself in quite a pickle, wrapped up in an extension cord like a human burrito. The unsuspecting homeowner stumbles upon this comical sight. With bated breath, we watch as the situation unfolds. With the pull-ups. In the video, you can see What was that? What was so comical? When did he wrap himself up in his stitching cord, bro? Coming outside with no gun is crazy. What if he would have just shot you? What's wrong with y'all fools? Where was this comical at? That nigga bow leg like a mama. Yeah, I'm 
In the Trash. video, you can see a man wearing a hoodie. He's coming closer to a bike, like he wants to take it. It's not clear what he wants to steal, but he's up to something take sneaky. Too long. But guess what? The homeowner saw everything happening. Get out! You can have all kind of cameras on your house. If you run up there, take it real quick and leave, they ain't even gonna see nothing but a flash. They gonna look at their bike, look at the, their TV, turn around, bike going, they be like, what the hell? How you going? You got it in your mind, like, I want to steal a bike, right? When you about to go steal, in, like, steal a bike, when you get actually to the bike, you can't still have it in your mind, like, damn, I wonder if I should steal this bike or not. No. Once you move on go, then you're on go. You know what I'm saying? Once you pursue, you won't take it. This nigga ain't for real. Get out of there. Fake thieves. Get out of there. Fake thieves. You see a person trying to be a master of reverse driving, but uh-oh, they crash right into the parked car behind them. I know this ain't That's not just an ordinary oopsie. This somebody girl. She been wanting this BM, I mean this Mercedes for a long time, bro. I want this one, Daddy. Woo -woo. She doing all kind of favors, y'all know what I mean. And she can't even get out the parking lot, bro. In this situation, that's when you gotta lie to your insurance and say somebody else hit me. <laughs> Cause there's no way in hell off to pay my own deduction. I mean, you get what I'm saying? It's not. She about to hit it again. It's a female driver. Look at her. She yeah. seems pretty distressed. Look at her. It's crucial to be careful when navigating in reverse. <laughs> she wanna be mad at him so bad. I know how females is, bro. She wanna she went in the house thinking how she can blame, bro. I'm not look how she walk. Bro, she wanna be mad at him so mad, but, but she can't. She can't. She got to think of a way. Yeah. She mad he caught her. She seems pretty distressed. It's <laughs> crucial to be, be careful mad when navigating so in reverse. In Portland, Oregon, there's a bit of a commotion going on. Downstairs lives a neighbor who seems to be That's very, very displeased with the ruckus originating from upstairs. Like Hello. Hey, um... I have a really nice question to ask you guys. I'm downstairs with my neighbor. We're yes, can you please have your damn kids to stop stomping on the floor? It's 8 o'clock at night. They should be having it. They got school in the morning. And then your husband ain't putting it down like that. I know it. Whatever it is. I live downstairs. And that's another thing with these apartment buildings, bro. If you know these people got kids, stop moving them upstairs to the single woman living by herself, bro. She don't know what it's like. She go complain all the time. If I move downstairs by myself and there's some kids that live upstairs and they stomping, I wouldn't be calling the rental office. You know why? I know how it is to have kids. I'm going to have to go let her know after a while. Like, look, I've been letting this go on for two or three hours. You got to calm these little bad up. You know what I'm saying? It's better she went to her than the rental office. Because then if she wouldn't went to the rental office, now this lady going to go downstairs to her like, bitch, why you complaining? <laughs> Tell me. We're trying to visit all morning long. All we're hearing is. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> Give her a demo. Quiet. Yeah, please. Yup. Yeah. Valid? Why was After this a video? A while, she comes back again, but now with increased aggression. She vehemently complains about the noise coming from the house. <laughs> yeah, if you thought that was funny, it wasn't. If you want us to call the cops and report you for noise ordinance, because this goes on 24 7. I have right. a father. You can we'll call do. the police all you like, because you guys stay in my house. So go ahead and call the police so we can report right now. Yeah. I have a father. That's not going to do right nothing. Call the cops right Kicking it with her toes ain't gonna do nothing. You gotta turn around a little bit. And since she gonna call the cops threatening over some kids, that is they can't do nothing over that. But guess what they can do? Come to your house because she got video of you kicking her door, bro. That's harassment. Disturbing the peace. Yeah, stupid. We have the right to live in a peaceful community and 
Go ahead. Go around around she in the house. She's making noise outside. A video from a ring camera oh. in Detroit. Michigan captures a mysterious. Don't open the door for a nigga like this, bro. Especially if he don't know them. Bro, look how he ran up to this house. Like he knew A video them. from a ring camera in Detroit. Michigan captures a mysterious figure. Bum. And we're about to dive into the action. With bated breath, we'll uncover what's going on. That nigga high! This person stands by the door, speaking into the intercom. Hallelujah. Their voice laced with a sense of urgency Praise and desperation, Lord. begging for entry. Bro, please, please let me in, please. My name is Mel Gray. You got to pee? Mel Gray is my father. He's a famous baseball player. <laughs> a lot of y'all would have been scared. I would have went outside dying laughing at this fool. I'm not even lying, bro. Like, are you high? Do you need some, psh, do some water straight on this face? You need some water, bro? You cool? Wipe your face. You straight? Because you doing this in front of my goddamn like. What's wrong, my nigga? You need the hospital? You don't need the police. There's something wrong with this fool. Get up out of here for a call a hospital, or you. Or somebody you gonna call on me. You can look it up. Please. You have a ring doorbell now. Please let me in. I don't know if you're a man or sir. Please. Please let me do Please. 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 Help me, please. It's cold out here, man. How you know it's a woman? Yeah, don't open that door. He been stalking her. How you know it's a woman? He is adamant. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Do I still need to tell y'all y'all need to go get a pistol or no? Or do y'all get the memo, the picture? Get what I'm trying to say? Damn. Be so quick to live by themselves, can't even protect themselves. A doorbell camera captured the menacing scene. Two armed men robbing an innocent worker. Ooh. The danger loomed as they searched for their prey. Surprisingly, these robbers bizarrely obeyed traffic rules as they tracked their target. That's With a thing. chilling approach. I'm not even <laughs> like you at work, bro. I can't even say nothing about it. Who won't be really strapped at work? Like, you know what I'm saying? You just got demons everywhere. You got fools everywhere. He's obeying traffic laws. Yeah. Because they ain't trying to get the suspense. Like, go ahead and run across the street so a fool can notice us. That's run across the street in front of the car so they can hunt the horn. He's going to be like, what was that? Like, you got to be a bum to go ahead and rob a fool while he's working. How much money he got on him? 20 at the most? Lunch money? 40 at the most? Plus gas money? And then it's two of y'all. What y'all need? Some weed money? What are you expecting in the bro? After you rob him, you gotta rob the dude next to him. And then the dude next to him and everybody on the block just for you to come out a little successful. Robbing a worker and his food doing construction is what it look. Come on, man. Damn. They closed in on their victim, ready to execute their sinister plan. Don't even know they be a videotape from all the way across the street. When it's a crime of opportunity, meaning you about to go kick it with your mama, watch Lifetime movies, on your way there you see a fool slipping, so you just rob him real quick. When it's a crime of opportunity, bro, you always end up in prison. You know why? Because you didn't go prepared, you don't have a ski mask, you don't have gloves, you don't know what cameras are around, you didn't case nothing, you just see them. You know what I'm saying? You're going to jail, bro. Both of them. One of them gonna tell. Oh, it's three of them. It's four of them. That's some blues, bro. You still ain't getting nothing but lunch money.
broad daylight. They're gonna take the truck. Give them that little ass money like right? collection pay at the church. Get at y'all in the next video. Y'all be cool. Make the most out of today and tomorrow. Till next time, 100.